I've got a short little episode today, and I'm going to be trying to go ahead and cover um, a couple of questions people have been having. It appears um, we haven't been clear enough, maybe, on what a pure salvage outpost is and why. Hey, I'm going to try this different. Sorry about that delay. <laughs> Seems that um, we're going to try this without my, my internet connection to my building. I'm going to try it the other way. Um, again, the purpose of the video today is to explain what is a pure salvage outpost. Some people are having confusion as to what I want to do in the process of giving away millions of dollars of materials. And the interesting part about it is that I don't know that you could really, per se, build a village without having a facility, a um, barn or building or... Uh, a shop where you can store all your tools. Um, if it's raining, you'll still be able to work. If the weather's crappy and nasty and snowing, you'll be able to work. And so what a pure salvage outpost is, is basically it's going to be a pole barn or a building. If you can find a warehouse in town that's empty, um, old um, different, uh, you might say warehouse. If you can find a warehouse, it'd be a great site for one. But if you're out on a ranch, a barn, just so you got some place... We can build the framing, put the roof on it, and dry it in, put the windows in, put the door on, and then put it on skates and just roll it outside and finish it. But you gotta start indoors, really. It's the best way to do it to get the most efficient use. But what is a pure salvage outpost besides being a building where you can build stuff in and store your tools and stuff like that? A pure salvage outpost is also supposed to be a teaching center, a place where you can have classes and then teach others how to build. That's my main goal here is to learn um, effectively a path in every area. You're going to morph it to fit your area where the elders can meet and congregate and, um, and effectively um, form a, a one-room classroom, per se, if it's a small space. But it's a classroom where we can go ahead and get together and talk and have the elders teaching the kids, how do you do this? How do you do that? Um, I keep looking up here because I'm trying to post a picture to the website that kind of it gives an idea of what I'm trying to accomplish. And it talks about the outposts. You see, an outpost, you might have one and you're going to have um, a village nearby. I say a village. That's a, we don't want to put your houses. It might be your ranch. It might be a sanctuary. You might have a lot of different names for it. But the reason I call it pure salvage outposts are that that structure and the tools and the elders and the training is what's going to then allow villages and towns to develop based on the pure salvage living ethos. It's a renaissance. It's an attempt to go ahead and get everybody to work together for common goals. In other words, a unity of purpose. And they commune together, they communicate, they share, and that communing together is called, when it's for the purpose of unity, it's called a community. Isn't that cool how we put words together? Pity. We're doing it all wrong these days. Community is supposed to be a positive thing. It's supposed to be something that you and I, me, me, now this, this is me, these two eyes and my third eye, the thing that makes me. Okay, me and you all get together and form that we. The we is all of us together. All the eyes together make we, not we. That's just the we that separates you from them. And we don't want to do that anymore. So, here's the game. Why do I want you to put up a pure salvage outpost as a condition for getting the materials to build up to five houses in the first round? And in the second six months, you might even get enough materials to build five more houses if you have a successful community with people who want to participate and to work on it. And you prove that it's possible. I want as much proof that this is possible as I can get with your help. I don't want to tell you how to do it. I want you to help come up with ways of creating communities that service your passion, your religion, your ethos, your, your group think, your tribe. Why? Because if we can get maybe 40 or 50 people together and create small communities, tribes, examples, colonies of what can be done with pure salvage, well, I believe I truly believe if we prove it, it will grow. 
more pure salvage outposts will develop. A network of people all around the United States, all around the world, interacting. So I can pack a container and ship it to the Philippines. I can ship a container to the islands. I can ship it to Europe if they'll let it in. Yeah, if they'll let it in. That's the trick. See, a lot of times, they won't let you take that wood in there. They won't take your windows. They won't take anything because they're afraid it might have bugs. So in that case, we have to put it through a kiln or poison it with a bunch of uh, pesticides. So they guarantee we're not bringing bugs. Well, I understand that. Um, but the idea is if you bring in trash and you create houses out of it, and I say trash in a, in a very polite form, some people consider it to be trash. I consider it to be treasure. It's a term. But if I'm going to go to the tax man, it's trash. If I'm going to go ahead and talk to people I love and care about, I'll let them know it's really treasure, disguised as trash. Because trash isn't taxable. Treasure is. Right? You don't want to pay taxes. Trust me. Now, next reason for having an outpost. Why do you want to have outposts? Because it's a teaching center. It's where you bring the elders in and you teach the kids. The kids. Because, frankly, um, when I say kids, I mean 45 years old and under. Yeah, that's the ones that haven't had a life skill taught to them. In my generation, we worked when we were 12 years old, 13 years old, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, all the way on. And that's how you basically made a living and, and, and earned your keep, your allowances and paid for your clothes and all that stuff. Once upon a time, you left home pretty close to 16, 17. You graduate high school, you're gone. Join the military or something else. Now kids graduate, go on to college, stick around, and about 25 years old, they think, hey, you know, this is pretty comfortable. I think I'll stick. Why why, why leave? 52% of the kids are living with their parents these days. What's that tell you? Now, if I get all you guys to go ahead and set up your own outposts, and I supply you, and you get the hang of it, and your elders are training the kids, I don't have to do much except watch. Watch you do what I'd love to see happen. Power people up. Give them hope. Give them a means, a method, an occupation. Teach them how to build tiny houses. You don't have to have an electrician license. You don't have to have a plumbing license. You can do all of it. It's fairly simple. You don't have to have a builder's license. You don't have to have a mobile home building license or a uh, modular home building license. Um, you don't have to have anybody inspect your work. Now, that's why we're here. You see, I can look through this little teeny phone here, and I can see your work, and I can inspect it. And if you're doing really crappy work, I can tell you, stop. Do good work, or I will take away my endorsement of your operation. What is my endorsement? That's what the Pure Salvage Outpost is about. I want to give you credibility. I want to give you customers to build houses for. I want to give you customers to build chicken coops for. I want to give you a means to make a living. What is a Pure Salvage Outpost? It is designed to earn, to learn, to create, and for people to mingle together to create community. So the outpost is nothing but a structure, but within that structure are tools, ideas, imagination, education, mentors, people that want to help, that are older, that want to transfer the knowledge base they have and download it into the kids who are basically without skills. The schools have neglected to teach how to survive. Good morning, Sarah. Shannon, Tina. I got all sorts of good people here today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, um, the 25 acres right outside of town, that's the kind of thing we want. Semi-trailer, yes. Now, the thing is, you got to have people. I just don't have the people, right? I know. And there's crazy people all over the place that will just steal from you as fast as you will put it on the table. They will steal it and take it away and give you nothing back, not even a thank you. The world is full of sick people. So why create communities with pure salvage outposts? And moral ethos in that community that maybe says, oh, we don't lie, we don't cheat, we don't beat our wives and kids, we don't believe in human trafficking, which incidentally, did you hear this new excuse for president just discontinued the Talon program, a program to chase down child traffickers, human traffickers. To chase them down and put them in jail and save those people. This excuse for a president just 
took down that program that has saved already hundreds and hundreds of children and women. Why do you take down a program that saves children and victims of human trafficking? No excuse. Why am I doing this? Why am I giving away millions of dollars? Because I want to see communities established that will stop condoning, cheating, lying, thieves of the truth, dictators that would dictate what you do, inject you with poison by force if necessary cover your face and suffocate you for the pure satisfaction of knowing they've managed to control you in spite of the fact that it does no good otherwise whatsoever. Why am I doing this? What is my purpose? Everything I can do to create an alternative. Everything I can do to stop evil, lying, cheating thieves from ruining our society. So needless to say, if you're into Antifa, if you're into BLM and supporting them, don't call me. And frankly, right now, if you support this pseudo-president and this pseudo-vice president, don't call me. Please. And if you're a troll, yeah, I'm ready. Got it? Now back to the good stuff. Why are we doing this? Because there is an alternative and it's only gonna happen if you get off your butt and help. I hear all this time, I can't do it, I can't do it, bullshit. You just don't want to, bad enough. Who does? Stand up and be counted. I shall give you help. I shall give you everything that is within my power to help create a country that does not condone lying, cheating, stealing, human trafficking, pedophilia, the destruction of the church. I don't care what religion you are, you've got a right to go and visit and share and commune together. You can't be denied that in my worlds. And that's why we create worlds, little tiny communities that are their own little world. And those pure salvage outposts, they will support them through giving them jobs, through giving them an income, through giving them a means to promote their ideology. All this is is a framework. You fill it in with the people. You fill it in with the philosophy. You fill it in with the religion. All I want to do is create a framework out of salvage. Towns, villages, sanctuaries, getaways outside the city. Where if you want to, you can pull out that gun. And protect yourself from the pedophiles. And from the thieves. Yes. Somebody better. Because they're going to defund the police. And they're going to open up the borders. And let anybody in they say that's what this is. group that are supposedly in control of our country are suggesting is that we just let everybody in leave the criminals here the child molesters the human traffickers why not they vote for democrats i see a big problem on its way i can only do so much from my little spot in salvage texas but one thing I can do, I can support my fellow patriots. I can support those who believe in freedom. I can support those who would take down a child molester. I can support those who would kill a baby raper and not even think twice about the trial. Yeah, I'm a pacifist, but I got no room for what's going on. You don't hurt the innocent. You don't attempt to kill off most of the world through starvation, through vaccination, through propaganda, 
through war. A world union of beings. We should be able to get this right and find a way toward peace. We have the means at last to communicate. Every human being practically on the planet could vote. Imagine that. Imagine if we eliminated the greedy, warring leaders and said, stop. You want a war? Don't send out the kids? I wouldn't just send you out there. How's that? Yeah, I'd love to see old Biden in a fight. In fact, anything, anybody that wants war, Let's put them out in the middle of the ring first. Yeah. They can have it. We'll watch. But don't drag me in and damn sure don't take the kids and send them off to war while you sit high hogging it and get rich off of it. Because that's what's going on. Old Bush run Carlisle Industries, which made the Tomahawk missiles and the tanks and everything else. I can't stop that. But I can help develop little tiny villages that might be bastions of freedom and some good sense. So that when time comes, we can come back out of those villages. Having proved there's a better way. And maybe, maybe there's a way to save this. I'm making my attempt. I'm donating millions and millions of materials. I'll donate my time. I'm donating my energy. I'm donating my own money that I earned as a poor kid. Nobody gave it to me. But sometimes you got to give somebody a chance. Help them out. That's what I'm here for. That's my purpose. Help me. Please help out some other people. Help me get around this shadow banning, this damn censoring. Yeah. 60 people will see this, maybe. 100 people will see this. And yet I could give them everything it takes for their family to live for the rest of their lives without a job. Why? Why isn't this getting out there? Why doesn't good news travel? Huh? You don't tell anybody? Nobody's telling anybody. Nobody's sharing. Why? All I want to do is give away opportunity. Yeah. I don't know. I'm getting kind of sick of it. Luckily, we do have some people that have gotten in touch, that believe, that have faith, that are doing something good already. And I am going to do something good for them. The proof is in the action, not the words. And right now, the actions from this government, so far, far from the truth and the words they used in what was even, not even a campaign, knowing they could steal the election instead, and they did. Politics, you just got my dose of it for the day. I hope you enjoy it. And then, if you want to consider helping create an alternative, you're the people I want to talk to. The rest of you, take a fucking hike.